So now here we are going to discuss about some of the basic utilities you get into the Linux operating system. So what are utilities? It is just like the tools which we can use for performing some tasks like your task manager into the windows that is a utility which shows you all the tasks which are running. Disk management will show you the disk management and it will provide you how you can manage those disks. So same here also we have the utilities. We have many more utilities into the Linux operating systems. You can check for the processes, you can check for the number of tasks which are going to be run, which are the process or we can say which are the resources, how much they are utilized, we can check their process rates as well. So basically here we are going to see some of the utilities. So very first utility you can see for printing a particular file or print a particular file on a printer. We can give the command utility called as PR. PR just a command we have. But what it will do? This tool will directly send your file over the printer for the printing purpose. The next utility which we have for the mails. Like if suppose I want to send a mail, I do not have to install or any particular package into it. I just will be using a tool called as a mail then we can define your subject your cc or your vcc or the address which we want to add and your mail will be sent so we do not have to configure any of the mail services any of the utilities just we can use those basic tools not this two but we have many more utilities let us check how we can use these utilities onto our linux terminal so uh, using your command called as um PR command will see. Now PR command will basically prepare your file for print. So it generally convert the page or you know any text document into a printable file document. So let us see this uh, command we have like cat numbers which will show you the number of files or you know the number of um, numbers I have added in this file. So these are the numbers I have added. Now if I want that this particular page should have two different columns while printing into the printer. So we can give print hyphen two, and then we can define the name of the file, file two. So I need to check it into more because generally when you use the PR command, it basically creates number of columns and you know it displays you the blank page at the end. That reason I'll be giving uh, the command. We are going to run for your numbers. This file 2 doesn't contain anything. That's the reason it hasn't provided you any output. So numbers and more. You can see these are the two columns which has created on the page 1. So we can also create a page-wide printing over here. So it's the same way if I want to print into three different pages or three different columns, I can also give the command hyphen 3. So if I print into the three columns over here. So this is about the print command. Same way if I want to uh, mail to someone. So if I want to mail hyphen s command we can define that is for subject. I want to send a test mail. Test mail to which user you want to uh, define. Uh, I am just going to send the mail to my root which is located at the local host and hit the enter. It will ask you what you want to send with you. Know? What is subject you want to add, and what the uh, the whom user you want to send the mail? We need to wait a while until we are getting the options for it. Uh, it has killed it. So what we can do, we can even define mail, space hyphen capital S, and uh, we can define the subject again, test mail to the root at the right, local host. Now I can see it is showing me the subject. Now I can define the subject as test mail, hit enter. Now if you want to add some body to the mail, this mail is a test mail sent by the trainer user. So I have added any of the you know, body text document and then for saving the file we can also save the file by control D. Once you have done it is showing you end of the terminal and this file has been sent. Now how we are going to check the file. For that first I need to switch the user to the root. So I am going to log in from the root over here into the command line terminal itself. Then 
I will find the password of my root. So now I can check I have logged in to the root. And through root, I need to move into directory called as var school mail. So uh, all users mails are stored under var school mail itself. Just move into that. Now you will find the different directory of different users. Now this is the trainer user and this is your root user. So I want to check the roots mail because uh, my trainer has sent the mail to the root. So this is a file. So we need to give command cat root and hit enter. Now we'll be able to see this is the trainer has sent you the mail on the date at this particular time and uh, it has sent the message to you which is received by the local host itself and the mail content was subject was test mail and this was the body of your mail this mail is test mail sent by the trainer user so this is how generally you can use the common utilities like mail and uh, you know PR and also we generally have LPR command which we can use to you know uh, send um, file for printing so we have the local printer access but there is actually no um, okay so I need to come into my present directory into the user because I have created a file into the user so here also we can create a file like I want to add a cat name I just want to find trainer I'm going to save it so this is the file which I have created now if I want to print this file we can also use print that is local printer and the name means this particular file I have defined and I have sent for the printing purpose so uh, we can check into the printer whether this print has been gone to your printer or not so for that we'll just move into the printers And this is my printer who we have. Can check for printer queues. So you can see this is the uh, print given. This is job five. Actually, there are many jobs which is provided to this particular printer. And this printer is uh, not connected. That's the reason it's showing you it is processing. So uh, what are the prints generally you give? Those number of prints will be directly queued into the printers. So this is how generally we give uh, the print command by using the LPR utility. So this is what exactly we have seen the basic utility. In the next video, I'm coming up with more of your commands. So keep watching.